doesn't make sense. It's fun! Oh, the music stopped. You might boss fight soon. Open up your transit. Oh, no, you might boss fight. And just who are you now? Get out of my... Or, wow, language. <laughs> Lady, get out of my way. You just being here something I couldn't see because I was in the middle of sending people that I was... We were stranded. Quit throwing things at people. But it's nice. No, it's knives. Oh, throwing knives at people isn't nice. I dissolved. You deaded? If you insist on being here, I'm gonna beat you to a pulp. Blah -de blah. If you throw knives, I'm gonna throw cards. I can actually destroy your knives that way. Huh. Neat. Quit beating up on people. Why not? That grammatically didn't follow. Did you dead again? Yeah! Then she started throwing knives, but they just started levitating in the air in front of her? I'm sorry, I'm not very distractible. Ah, but you did notice it. Ah. Yes, I noticed. That doesn't make me distract. Look, a distraction! I'm going to fight you and knock all the cards out of your knives because your knives store cards in them somehow. Why is she throwing cards way up where nobody could physically be? Well, no, she's throwing knives. Oh, you can throw cards at angles? Oh no, yeah, knives. Why is she throwing knives up where no one could physically be? I don't know. Ah, how could this be? I lost! <laughs> you, you did the thing that made me lose and it's bad! That's my summary. Jump, jump. I could go back and save. Or I could do the stupid thing and try to advance. What if going forward lets you save? Ow. It's like a big tomato. <laughs> big evil tomato? Of evil? I mean, you saw Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I have not. You saw the existence of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and can infer from it what would be happening in that particular movie. I could! <laughs> My favorite part about Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is that it came out at the same time as a lot of other horror B-movies and it was just a huge tongue-in-cheek parody of the idea of those movies. 
back before parodying was quite so popular of a thing. Huh. What did it say it could do? Wave drop. My seals can go through walls now. Oh, neato. So now you can shoot the spooky ghost. There's a block here and it's suspicious. There's sort of up there in the middle of the air. But no matter how I interact with it, the future refused to change. That one brown block up there? The one right here. Oh, it's just there for you to bonk you head. Or duck on it for a long time. Nope, it, uh, it chooses not to do anything. This was definitely made in the Cave Story engine. A game that I like in every way except the story. And since that's the part that I don't like, it unfortunately means I will never play it on this channel. <laughs> well, I currently don't know where to go. So I will say not knowing where to go is a much better predicament than seeing exactly where you need to go, but it's just so precision based that it's not fun to do. What's it say when you look at the statue? Malori. Malori. It's a lie, that's not my name. It could be. Momo, you could be Milori Momo. I don't think that's your name. There's about a, a, a non-zero percent chance that that's not your name. Jingle jingle sounds nice though. This music is good. Maybe I'll walk back for now. But I can't get up that high, so I can't go that way. Ouch. Bells heal me. Yeah. Except the bells in the background of the song. That tomato is so grumpy. Dark! No, can't you tell it's Mario? Oh. Dark, are you Mario? there just so you can hit that guy. I can't be where it wants me to go because can you rub your face on the wall? It won't let you jump that far slash high. That's about as far as I jump. Except for a treasure chest that I opened. That guy was very mean and in the way. Let's see. 
basically, I'm guessing you need to find a spot where you need to hit something on the other side of a wall, since that's what they just gave you. That would make sense. Which would be why you can't reach the place yet, because you have to hit a switchy thing. Oh, you're Yoshi, you're not Mario. And you can only aim horizontal with the cards, right? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well I will use my teal cloak and come over. See if I can brain any brains that we brain the brain. What if you stand right here and shoot at this long line of stuff? Nothing. Um, Alright, go to the right. Being down here. There's nothing down here. I'm going back up. So are those little things floating around the things that give you more cards? No, they're just annoying. They try to bump into me. So I throw things at them. Some of them have ripped charms. Some of them have full charms. But none of them are very charming. Shoot at that opening right there in the waterfall -y spot there. Nothing. And this is where you fought the boss. Wait, shouldn't this be the direction your head did? Because you fought the boss and then the thingy. Aw, oh, you can't have those cards. So you can't go up there yet. What's to the right? No, no one wants you here. Go away. You don't like gnats with one eye? This game really likes things that only have one eye. And by that I mean it technically really dislikes them because they're the bad guys. Oh hey, another statue person. Yeah, I tried talking to the statue, but I mean... Yeah, but it just says a name. Luna. Hey, person next to the oh, statue. Duck. Duck beside it. Now jump. You jump higher. Do I? Oh no, you got more magic key. Alright, so go to the left. I think you do. I think you jump one square higher. Yeah, you jump three squares right now. No, because I... Because otherwise, I needed this to make the jump before. Oh, you just barely don't jump that. Okay. Well, then go to that other statue and do the same thing and see if that shows you any cool stuff. Huh. I missed a context clue. But it was there, so... These enemies are very Japanese. <laughs> Must have hit this. 